<sighs> so my name is Irina and I was originally born in the country of Ukraine. Uh, and when I was born, I was born in the um, uh, Soviet Union times, you know, and the Soviet Union had a lot of programming and a lot of conditioning on its population. So, you know, when I was born in the child, I uh, was living in that society, in that, in that field of energy with a lot of conditioning about what life is, where we go and where we come from, how to live, what's the formula of life. But none of it was like deep inside my heart. It was like, this is all bullshit. Like, I don't <laughs> feel it's true. And I moved to New York when I was 21. And um, uh, at, the, you know, at the age of 21, it was like, just life was just opening. And I, I was like taking responsibility for my own life and like making choices, seeing the consequences of the choices I was making for meeting people from all over the world because I lived at that time in New York and New York was full of like foreigners and people from like, that immigrated from all over the world. And they all had this story. They all had um, uh, an expression of life that they were uh, born into, you know? And they were all like, I don't know, like, I don't wanna go back home. I don't wanna go there. I wanna like experience something different. It was not it. The answer not always comes through the mind. Sometimes it comes through the experience. We have a full body dive in of the answer. So you embody the answer rather than you just know the answer and then uh, within that experience is i start understanding that okay uh, the the main center of my being is the, the heart uh, the heart temple that each of us has that creates a frequency that creates an experience and that creates uh flow itself and the, the less I'm, the mind is there and mind is the tool and mind is one of the aspects of who we are, but it's not, an, uh, it's, not, it's not the main aspect of who we are as the society is running on, like putting the mind on the forefront of our being uh, for many, many generations. And it's no longer, um, um, you know, it became my truth. And the more I start practicing uh, into placing my attention, uh, bringing it down from my mind space, the attention from the like the mind mental understanding, the mental layer of who I am, bringing this attention down into the heart frequency and constantly dropping my attention into the heart temple. And from this space, life has started showing me a very different dream. I'm still in the process and the process is ongoing and the more and more layers of my heart is yet to open for me to understand the true blossoming of my being and the true, it's like a flower, right? The heart is the flower. And if we don't tend to the flower, the flower is in a specific state. But once we start tending to the garden and to our flower, the flower starts opening and the petals of the flower slowly, slowly start opening. And there's layers of, of the bee. If you uh, the, uh, it took a little bit of time to um, uh, soften those mental structure and belief system that's so rooted in my being from my childhood. And some of them um, asked me to feel the emotions that I needed to feel because sometimes some emotions that were trapped in my body, uh, those mental belief system and pattern, they were like protecting that emotion not to, not to be felt because it was a really huge wave of emotion to feel. But and it's, like, it's like peeling your off, taking your time, loving yourself, with complete self-love, uh, um, simply being with yourself and seeing what is present right now and tending like a garden to each aspect of yourself, each area of your life and feeling like, how do we can soften it? How can we love that? So seeing the stories and, and, and letting the stories go and creating a new story because you are an artist and the art. You are the story and you are also the, the, uh, the, the storyteller. Taking full, full responsibilities for the experiences we are having as we are creating this reality and the life is coming through us in the way we, you know, what kind of uh, frequency in uh, what kind of choices and attention, where we place our attention, that's what the, what the energy is, you know, growing. So from therefore, I'm like, okay, I am a creator of this whole, exp of this whole dream of mine. Wow. It was like, you know, like it took, um, it still takes me, you know, time to really um, come into this, um, acceptance of like okay i am i am it you know and i am uh, i am mm -hmm. on the experience itself like it's not the body it's not the person it's just i am the energy itself 
So, and I was like, okay. And uh, in kind of universe at some point start saying, okay, like, you know, like the, you received the teachings and like right now, like, how do you want to play? You can create anything in the world. You can do, you can create any dream. You can play, like play dear child, play however you want to play. And then I was like, oh, how do I play? Yes. How do I play with life? And then this teaching sort of like, okay, how do, what does this mean to uh, you know, be a creator of reality and what does creation means? The life itself is, is consists of four elements, um, actually like five elements, uh, but in the main, uh, the basic elements we play with, uh, it, I'm the fifth element, I'm the spirit, you know, but the elements are the water, air, fire, and the earth. Um, so all these four elements, they play together and they play together in the way you want. And sometimes as you are the creator, you can take uh, a look like okay what are you creating and which element wants to be a little bit more empowered in this in this moment or which element wants to be um, a little bit you know kind of like uh, so, so to slow down in a specific element and just and your body is the perfect uh, like the highest technology ever existed out there is your biological body that is telling you about the elements is the telling you how you feel how you experience life because it's also made out of the elements so your create your relationship to creation is coming out uh, through the sensation of your body so it's not through the mind you understand which element is 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 is, is more relevant in this uh, specific situation or the other is actually the body that six signals um uh the, the, this sensations and telling and and and, and through through this sensation creates uh, an expression of the other element that wants to come in so it's just like tending to the body and listening to the body and then the body does its work there is really nothing too much to think or nothing too much to do it's just being in harmony with your own body being in harmony with an outside environment and listening deeper what is here um so i as my body is a sacred vessel and a genius technology that i was gifted or not even i was gifted that i'm experiencing or the experience itself is going through um uh, waking up in the morning isn't always a, a new a new opportunity to experience life in a new way and it's a ceremony every day is everything is a ceremony everything is a temple so as, as i wake up what i'm grateful for today and each day there is a new way new new things i i pick up to be grateful for whether it's just like a smells or a flower or experience or um for like my own heart my own health uh, of this system of, of the ability to communicate for the ability to hear for the ability to sense for the ability to speak so saying a little prayer uh, using my voice therefore my voice is the vibration that create this a powerful tool of, of, of creating reality as I speak so it becomes um, so using the voice um, and praying every morning has been an experiences from that the, the practices have been using a lot as well uh, if we talk about the elements sometimes um, uh, we feel cold i living in the heart temple has been activating me really moving intuitively through life and not having like a daily pra practice that's very rigid and it's like okay this is what we must do and this is the yoga or this is the amount of time i need to sit with myself this is not the way I practice. I usually just like follow what feels true to me. And if one day I wake up, I feel cold to the water element. And you can just like have a glass of water and say and say prayer to it. You can charge the water because the water in your body will create a specific experience itself. So coming into deeper connection with the water. Uh, before going to bed, you can also like sit with the fire and just like also sit with the prayer and burn in everything that was throughout the day and you no longer take it into your ceremony of sleep so i think intuition uh can be practiced uh, with stillness just sitting in stillness can really activate more and more depth of intimate connection with our own inner voice and, uh, and, and the voices that are in our field. So just sitting in stillness and practicing stillness as much as you can will always amplify what is present. So you can intuitively feel what is here and kind of like 
feel into that thing. So intuition can be really accessed through stillness. I've never liked the word coaching, actually. <laughs> I've never really like resonated with this, but we can call it however. I'm, I, 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 you know, for me, coaching is um, it's creating space, right? As I'm a creator, I can create anything. So if I come in connection with a being that wants to comp comprehend or, or um, uh, tend to a specific aspect of their life, I can create a space for them. And they can do it, they, they will do it on their own. It's not, I cannot do it for anybody. People, it's people's um, process, but I can create a space where we can look at the process together and we can just listen to what is there and we can start practicing and um, we can create a specific um, a set of practices or a specific um, um, uh, actions to be taken towards coming a little bit more in balance with their own body and their mind and their emotions we will plant the seeds right this is the first three days first first time people get together in person and that creates magic and the energy will start creating different possibilities different opportunities mm -hmm. different tribe connection uh different visions and people start dreaming together people start in, um, imagining what is possible out of this and that will create all these energetic streams of energy and on possibility of creation Feel the love, feel the love, feel the love.